whole sun. <laughs> We're gonna have some uh, goodies, a couple of unboxings for both of these uh, fist scales here. So we are just gonna get right into it. Uh, I'm gonna install this stuff, and then you're gonna see why I got uh, one particular item and uh, future plans for the f uh, Baja 5B and uh, a much needed part here for those future plans. So, um, as you can see, I have not, um, hell, I have not done anything any further with the diff that we rebuilt uh, last night. And once we get all this done, probably this evening I'll, I'll start to, uh, Go ahead and tidy this back up i do want to try and see if i can run um, maybe the 8x elite with the rcr modded novorossi uh, virtus and the hypex setup here with the uh this is the bs roddy which basically is a hypex 2135 uh, with the 41001 header it's a badass header right there for stock or modded 0.21s so, you know, I don't like running those L50 headers up here. Um, and I've been kind of even shying away from running my uh, 9886s. So, we need to clean them up. But these are my two Super Strongs with the 41032s. Uh, great pipe and header combo for your modded 28s, 32s. Um, even if you have a Roma uh, .25 mod, it would probably be pretty badass on there. Um, but I'm just trying to experiment with some different things, man. And, uh, you know, experience talks volumes. I've, I've run all these pipes. And these red pipes and these, these Hypex pipes, these great low-end torque pipes are badass, man. They're badass on modded engines as well. And... Uh, I actually there's a reason I haven't been running these because I, I prefer the other ones so but anyway maybe we'll do a comparison on uh, uh, one of the the big block 28s or the 32 RCR modded and compare the two pipes but it's really hard to explain or portray on video the differences in these you really just got to run them so uh, let's just get down to it um, I think I'll do this one last. We'll put that over here. Uh, let's see what we got in this box right here. Get you all off of Zoom. Yeah, I still got a lot of work to do on the 8XT. So let's go ahead and, and get some stuff done here. So this is from DDM, this is for the TLR, the low C5B, because it's four wheel drive. I wanted uh, this item to help keep the power to the ground. What could it be? 
Boogie. Oh, shit. DDM sticker. All right. Look at that. It's two, uh, two bags of rubber, huge rubber bands. <laughs> No, these are actually the Uber RC version 2 belted Viper Super Spikes for the Baja 5B. These are the rears. I got two sets of rears. Um, and we're going to... We're going to go ahead and mount these up to these uh, Mad Max rims with the bead locks here and these foams. They say you don't need a uh, uh, special or particular foam because these are already um, belted. They will not balloon. I've seen some uh, videos on them and they don't balloon at all. So we're gonna get them mounted up. Super spikes front and rear and uh, try to put the power to the ground here on the 5B. So uh, let's get these out of the box what we got. Go down for a sec. Never seen tires come like this. Pretty strange. Right. Come with the Uber RC sticker. Pretty cool. Holding them. All right. So that's what we got, man. Pretty badass. Belted. Super spikes. Oh shit. Yeah, they're gonna be badass people. I got tons of uh, fist scale tires over there, you know, that we've tried and we've used. Um, you can't ever have enough tires and rims and things. So, just another set to add to the collection. And uh, still may very well do a set of the RC Max Genesis for this as well. And uh, I've seen a, a bunch of people do that on their uh, low C5Bs. So that's cool. Let's uh, get this over here. We are going to install all this stuff. And you guys are going to see the final product on them. Um, so there will be a second part of this video. Sorry guys, I had to do DDM candy. Mmm. Love that candy. Alright. Let's do the second one. And see what we got. And in about 30 days or so, depending upon how long it takes, you're gonna see why I'm adding this. You don't necessarily need it right now, I don't think, but you're gonna see why I got this in about a month. So, let me put you down again. More stickers. Oh, that's a new kind of one. Never seen that one. Oh, I see these. So, more 
Detroit Performance, obviously that's where this came from. What's in the bag? What's in the bag? Oh man. Oh, that's what's in the bag. Holy moly. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Alright. Y'all can look now. Boom! Oh wait, you can't see it. Alright guys, so this is the Bonehead RC. Uh... Um, wheelie bar so we're gonna mount this up looks really nice man comes with all the hardware you need got some carbon fiber plates there figure out where those go got the wheel the mounts so now you see why this was off and um, why well, I didn't want to show you all the rear here. So we're going to put this on. We're going to mount everything up. Um, we are going to have a big bore coming. Uh, it's probably going to be about a month. 30 to 45 days or so. Before it's, we actually have one here in the Woogie Nitro barn. Uh, and in the meantime we'll rip this uh, ESP34CC modded. Or 32 modded to a 34. It's got a 2 millimeter stroker in it. And... Um, I think this is a badass little ESP. I want to start collecting engines, you know, as some would say hearts for these platforms. And uh, we're, we're probably going to have another platform that we're going to start building. So this is not the only custom Woogie build here. We're going we're to start on another one here pretty soon. I want to get the big bore out of the way because obviously it's a little bit of change. Uh, it's a little bit harder to just drop you know 2,000 2,500 bucks on an engine but that's exactly what we're doing so uh, you guys stay tuned for that that's why I built this as durable and as custom as I did uh, with all the parts that I did to accommodate a big bore so we'll be looking for a big bore pipe or we may just get a combo I don't know I'm not sure yet I'm gonna be ordering this weekend Looking at a couple of different ones, uh, you know, obviously your your bottom of the the line badass 40 GT and uh, end up, but I I honestly think I want to go a little bit bigger than that, and you know th this build deserves a badass big bore engine, and that's exactly what it's going to get. So stay tuned for that, guys. Let me, um, and next week we'll, we'll see and, and we'll, we'll let you know exactly what we got. Or we may not. You may just see when it gets here. But these are fun. These are great. And I can't wait to get it out with these wheels and uh, this wheelie bar, and this new pipe, and see what she does. But we are going to be building another Baja as well. And I, I just, I'm just not into the LTs and, and the trucks and things like that. It's just not my style man i love this buggy right here the 5b the losi but man i'm having a blast with the baja people the baja is such a fun quirky badass platform you know i know 5t or the 5sc uh things like that are badass too but this is more my cup of tea man this this is what i like right here and this is badass too, but obviously I'm really enjoying this a lot more. I haven't even run it that much. We've only run it once. But you can bet that this weekend, probably Sunday, as long as the weather is good, we're going to get out and rip it again and uh, see what she's got, you know, with uh, these tires. These tires alone will change the gearing of the vehicle without actually changing the gearing. So we're going to see where we're at on that. We may need to order some new gears for it. Um, that'll be a, a prime time to where I can go in and, and uh, swap out this clutch bell for the uh, uh, 
black bone uh, clutch bell, black bone, right? Not bone head, not black magic, black bone gears. So this is actually the turtle racing gear because the black bone gear was hitting and I knew I probably needed to shim it, but for now I just went ahead and went with the turtle, the entire turtle racing setup and the, tur uh, the uh, turtle racing uh, or the black magic, I'm assuming what is what this is gear but it's held up pretty good so far and um but i do definitely want to swap out for the black bone setup here this is the 17 black bone gear and 54 millimeter clutch bell so i definitely want to use these but we're gonna have to shim it here to uh keep it from rubbing it was rubbing on the turtle racing but that's part of fist scale people you gotta you gotta mod certain things and do certain things so Give me a little bit of time here, guys, and uh, we're going to get these tires mounted up, get them on the low C5B, and then we're going to start putting this thing together as well. So, all right, guys, I appreciate y'all. We will uh, see y'all in the next vid or the next half of this vid. So, all right, y'all, we'll get out. All right, people, so... I've been riching since uh, the last portion of this video. Uh, we got a lot accomplished. It's about 11 p.m. right now. I think when I started this video, it was about 3 o'clock. So, you know, we, we, we got the Bonehead RC uh, bar on, the wheelie bar. So, nothing in fist scale is a direct bolt just about everything sometimes you get things that are a nice fit uh, but for the most part everything has to be modified on these things Th this is this is the greatness about this hobby nothing comes with instructions you just get parts and hardware and you got to figure it out and that's good it's good for the mind it's good for the soul it keeps you thinking it keeps you on your toes so you know you test fit you see what's going on and what you need to do and what you modify so with the RC max rear brace here so everything was not lining up so basically what what we did is we ended up having to drill two holes here in the brace itself here here and then we uh, put the cap head uh, screws and lock nuts and washers okay so that's good everything is tight and right it's on there and then here on the bottom we went on the center holes and uh, we had the chassis protector off the road chassis protector we put it back on we measured everything up uh, we marked it and we drilled two holes through the chassis protector as well which only helps make this more durable because not only do you have this is the only screw besides the little hooks that go in and you pull it just like you would the plastic one and then you bolt it here so now we have three uh, bolts with with lock nuts on it instead of just the one and we've secured the bonehead uh, wheelie bar it looks great everything is on point everything is tight and right so we're good to go um, and, and I'm pleased with it the only thing that I couldn't use is because it's it spread out a little bit more because of the holes you can't use these holes because these are for the cage you know obviously you can't use this one unless I drilled another hole but we can use this one still for the cage it's it's not going to hit anything i may have to trim the end of the cage uh where the wing goes in here or not the wing but the cage mount right here trim it so everything lines up flush but again modifying um is part of the you know it's it's the name of the game in fist scale if if you're not technically advanced as far as mechanically inclined and all that then you're going to have a hard time there's just about nothing on this build that I didn't have to test fit and modify. Uh, some things lined up pretty well, and nothing came with instructions. So be prepared if you're going to get into a build like this. But uh, I'm happy with this. It's got ball bearings in the wheel, and uh, 
everything is good man everything is tight and right like we said I don't know if you'll be able to see under here but you can see let's see if we can flip it without killing myself so you can see in here so we just drilled two holes here and uh, we're good to go they actually almost line up with that the other hole almost lines up with the uh, rear uh, bulkhead but it doesn't so uh, I'm not worried about it and all this is a precursor to the next engine that's going to go in here I, I needed a wheelie bar I want to see how these wheels are with the the ESP and all that see if we can't get the wheels up in the front as is but definitely this build was uh, put together for a big bore and that will be coming like we said earlier 30 45 days something like that uh, all in a little over two thousand dollars for that engine it's a hard pill to swallow but if you love the hobby and you want to progress uh, you're not going to worry about silly little things like cash all right, so next thing we got going on, guys, and, and I promise we're going to get a ripping video here pretty soon. It also rained today. I was going to run uh, the 8X Elite with the Novorossi Virtus, but we never got around to it. So here are the Viper, and, and this is something else that, that I had to figure out on my own. Uh, I should have known. It also says it in there that you don't need the uh, uh, zero growth foams, which are these right here and i wasn't thinking and i started using it and they just would not fit so we had to use the standard foams um took them out of the the gravel tires there and um everything fit like a glove so this is beautiful i love these uh tires super spikes we're gonna see how they do they're pretty badass all four rear Baja Super Spikes because this is a four-wheel drive platform as you know and uh, we'll see how it hooks up man we're running uh, I think we're running 500k front and rear and I think 300k in the middle um, something like that I don't remember to be honest with you so um, as you can see, the, the 8XT is not sitting here anymore. I'm sorry, the baby stuff. We're trying to donate and, and get rid of some of the, the baby things that we don't need anymore. But we did get the 8X so Elite to together. We actually Change put the uh, uh, LRP Z.28R. And, uh, and I did run the uh, Novorossi setup. So 41032. 9886 super strong and uh everything went together like a glove on this that's what you can say about these kits and nitro man there's not a lot of modification needed on something like that but that um, God, that thing is beautiful man that is a different story so all right guys that's going to be it for this video there will be a a ripping video i don't know if it's going to be nitro or if it's going to be um, uh, fist scale, but we will see. We'll figure it out, man. All right, guys. Remember, hadn't said this in a little bit, but treat people the way you want to be treated. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. We'll get out.